welcome you and uh, thank you for joining us. This is the social media series, the second part, all about reels. We will be going over some ideas on reels. And we do have uh, from Allied. I like to start with these 10 Instagram reels. I shared it with you earlier in our part one. I'm going to go ahead and send it again here through the chat, which to me is super convenient because I get to share with you. And sometimes we're wondering what content to create. Uh, you can do a behind the scenes. So you can do house tours, um, a day in the life of a real estate agent, staging before and afters. So this is ideas of what reels to do. You can do introductions, right? Why do you be why did you become a realtor? Three fun facts about you. Like, where did you work before? Where have you lived before? Why do you like uh, the area so much? Your niche. Um, who is it that you service and why? Meet the family. So maybe let them know who you are, who your family is, what you're made of. Meet the team. Maybe you're a part of a team and you love your team and you want to share. Tips. Tips are always a great idea. They capture the attention. They're usually short and they're informative. Uh, Michelle has just sent her, in her info. If you want to copy and paste it, go ahead and do so from the chat. The three tips, there are buyer tips, seller tips, staging tips, DIY tips, and showing your home hacks. How many of you have taken an Agent 3000 class? Anyone? You have buyer and seller guides there that can give you tips, right? And you can see many of them also in those infographics that I shared from Florida Realtors. Um, education guide, answer your most asked questions, teach on the most important real estate ideas. Sneak peeks, so up and coming listings, something personal. Uh, which class, it, Edgar? Um, something personal, a project you're working on. Yes, we give Agent 3000 part one all the time and there's a recording on YouTube in English and in Spanish that are fantastic. Um, and it's also available on Miami Realtors Live. So Agent 3000 is there because it's one of the peak things to help you guys make sure that you succeed. And it's an all-in-one marketing tool. Uh, six repurposed content, blog posts, tidbits, podcast episodes, re-edit old videos. Seven how-tos, how to buy a house, how to save for a house, how to get a mortgage, how to hire a realtor. Jump on a trend. You can search TikTok or Instagram. And that's sort of what I did when I showed you how we could remix and then tours, neighborhood tours, house tours, office tours. So to start with you, I'm going to try to connect uh, from my phone and do a video, right? Uh, oh, there's hobbies. I'm sorry. Painting, cooking, hiking, etc. How many of you like to cook? Type cook in the chat. I love to cook. Yay, Maylee, me too. How many of you like to eat? That's a problem. I like to cook and eat. Maylee, Maylee, I suffer the same issue. And I like what I cook, so it's worse. <laughs> so we're all foodies, right? And in South Florida, being a foodie is easy. Yes or no? Oh my gosh, there's always a spot. Yeah, right? Um, we re recently had a business after hour. I was born and raised here. Um, and I am a croqueta fan. Do you guys know what a croqueta is? Well, if you don't, can you please seek one out? Okay, so... We went to a business after hour and I'm always criticizing, like you go to a place and they have uh, mediocre croquetas. And we went to the tank and they had really good croquetas. Well, immediately I started to share with Christina. There's like, you guys, these are really good. Like, I didn't know that they would have them like this here. Um, so there's always places to have certain things, correct? So you can share that. Um, maybe you like to go hiking or you like to go off for walks or anything like that. There's so many beautiful places now. It, this may not be the time of year because it's, it gets extremely hot in the summertime. But as soon as uh -huh. I hit, it's a great time of year to do what? Start sharing. So I'm going to give you some ideas on some of these things that you can do and how you can really use reels. So I'm going to share from my um, phone now, if it will allow me. Okay, I'm going to cast from my phone.
Okay, there's my cell phone. And I'm going to come into Instagram. Okay. And here we have uh, Miami Realtors is hosting the FIABSI. So there's this info here. And I want to click on the very bottom. Do you see here? Let me move this out. You see here, this plus here. And there are reels. So I can click into reels, right? And here I am. Hi. I can turn the camera around right here, right? And this is a way to feature, right? This is where I'm located in the office. It's like adjustive, right? Here's all the stuff here in the office, correct? And I can do a reel here. I can do several things. I can do a reel about me. I can come in and actually um, start to add to a reel. So on the lower hand side here, I can click plus. And one of the things that I wanted to share with you is that if you had a property and you took pictures, you could come in and do what? Add a picture, add it in, click next to add, click to add again. And sometimes this is a little easier. So let's say I was featuring this commercial property, right? I'm going to click to add it in, add in the next one. And you see how on the bottom here, it's the five seconds. What if I wanted to reduce? I could just use my finger to reduce the time and I click add on the very top. So what I'm showing you here is how to take images, right? And I really particularly love this one. Now serving this and I'm gonna click add and then I'm gonna come up to the top. Sorry, I'm gonna click add again and I'll add, um, this is our membership area at our headquarter location, right? Now click add. And then a little bit of our computer lab. And I reduced it. And then I spoke to you a little bit. Coming to you live today from our headquarter location. So glad to be able to reach you virtually. Okay. So now I've done all of this, right? And I've created my reel. I could do effects on it, like um, appearance, et cetera, and change my appearance. And I want you to know this. You could see the trending ones. Um, you could see the reels ones. And here is you have a green screen. So um, you can choose a green screen, add a photograph or video to the background. Right. So let me turn this around. And this is me with a green screen in the back. Some of you had asked how you could do that. And then you can tap and add a photo. I'm not going to, to do that at the moment, but I wanted you to see that. Um, I'm going to click back on that. Um, and I can save the effect if I like, right? I'm still going to go next so you can see it. I'm here on next, or I could edit the clips on the very bottom. I could reduce the time in between. I could transition and reorder them. So let's say that I wanted to organize them differently. I could click reorder, and that will allow me to then select and move. So let's say that I wanted to showcase this one, right? Oops, sorry. Next. Edit clips. Let me come here to the end. Reorder. And I want to move this one, right? And I want to move it over to the beginning. I can organize it. So let's say I'm looking at a home, right? And I, for some reason, put the kitchen at the end. I could reorganize it here. And then I could click on done. Okay. I could click on done again. And I could come to the top and add music. Right. So they'll always have features for you. You could look for the ones that are trending here. Right. And one of the things that we always hear is, you know, they never have the best of music here. OK, so what I could do is. Review me or the volume. So it's not scary loud for you. Um, there's this one. I'm coming to fill that. Um, Let me see this one, this funky music. Maybe I like that one. Okay. So I click to use it. Now that's gonna present a little issue for me. So I'm gonna click on done. Why? Because towards the end, I speak. So I'm gonna click on music again, right? And I'm gonna look, click on controls. What is this for? Well, I want to sort of, 
reduce the volume. You see how I'm reducing it to the music so that my message still seeps through. Isn't that nice? So I can have music and still have what I'm saying come out. Does that make sense? Now I'm going to click on done here and I'm going to slide down on my item. And the next thing I want to do is click on the smiley face, the emoticon, and see if I can get captioned. Coming to you live today from my headphone and open So glad to be able to reach you virtually. Some of you had asked for all of this, yes or no. So I took images. Can you hear me? So I took images and I'm creating this. So you could do this for a property. You could do this for an area that you visit. And you could end it with a message from you. So I'm going to put the letters down here. Do you like? Now, someone told me the other day, Honey, you've done this several times. Yes, because you have to lose fear of the button. If you don't do it once, you're not going to get better. If you don't click on the items, you're not going to know where things are. So just to remind you, I clicked here. And here is where I selected the caption for it to take the words I was saying and add the caption. Now, be mindful. My phone is in English. So my captions come up in English. Okay, I wanted you to know that. Now that I'm done, I click on next, right? And I have my cover as this, but that's not the cover I want to put. I want to click here on edit cover, and either I can select from the images, right, including me, right? Or I can add from my camera roll. Yeah, I did that. You can do audio voiceover. I had done a recording with a voiceover, but you could do an audio voiceover and record it yourself. It was the whole idea. But I wanted to show you that you could record and then even add captions to a recording you've already done. Does that make sense? All right. So I'm going to add from the camera roll. This is the first one because we're going to do several. Okay. And I'm going to add from the camera roll this. I selected my image, I click done, and I said reels. Now, where are my hashtags? Do you remember? I'm gonna come out of here and go where? To my notepad, where you can see that I had them saved. I'm gonna copy them, right? And then do what? Paste, click okay, right? And then I wanna talk to you about what you can do here. Tagging people. How many of you have your office as someone that you could collaborate with? How about an, another agent that may be on your team? How about you have this business page and another page? How about you're featuring the food? Remember we said that we were feature hiking, food, painting, et cetera? Do you remember? Oopsie, I lost you. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to talk about tagging here. To me, tagging is important. If you're talking about a place or a location, you might want to add the location. So in my case, I'm going to click and add the location. And I am at our headquarters office, right? Which is this here. So I'm going to select it. That marks myself in a spot. But tagging people, maybe who I'm with, 
you know, where I'm located, et cetera. And I can tag or invite for collaboration. Inviting for collaboration means that that other page can agree to also feature the same reel. Isn't that cool? So let's say I'm working on a pre-construction and I have their permission to take pictures and create a reel. I could tag that pre-construction office and they could collaborate and showcase my video. How about that? Or I could invite to collaborate my office and showcase a listing and have them accept the collaboration. Do you like that idea? So I'm going to click here to invite to collaborate and you would have to search, right? For that person, select. And now I have invited Miami trainers to collaborate. I can add a tag as well. And let's say that I want to add a tag here. And what I want to tag is Christy. She's my colleague. And I can tag her as well. Yeah. You can collaborate and tag. And when I'm done, I can click on done. And now I've taken care of the tag portion. I can add a message button. Okay, I'll click on adding a message button and I can send that, have them send a message to Instagram and it's done and it'll show on the bottom of my post. I can add topics, right? So here, I could put destinations, right? Let me see, destinations, landmarks. So if I was at the beach, beaches, I could see more if I wanted to here. Home and garden, gardening, plants, interior design, home furnishings, construction and renovation, right? Urban, you can pick from here, interior design. You can pick from business and say that you're part of an entrepreneurship. So you can pick up to three. Okay, and once I'm done, I click on done on top, right? And if you wanted to add a reminder, you could. I love to do this when I have a class and I want to remind people that follow me. You can click to add a reminder. And let's say that this was an open house. You can add the rename to the reminder. So open house in Miami Springs or Little Havana or que se yo, a Brickle or Pinecrest or wherever. And you could put here a start time. Let's say today at 2. Yeah, it's the one too. <laughs> it's two to thirty. We'll do done, and then end time. We'll do three. Okay, and the reminder name reels. Okay, and you click on done. And it'll add a little reminder button. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on share. And it's getting ready to post. The great things, the great convergence of technology, great businesses, great ideas emerge in times of trauma, in times of disruption, not when things are going well. History is replete of examples of that. So I think the message is see watch that. Here is the wonderful reels. Can I delete? Yes. I can come back up, see the three buttons, and do what? Delete. I can edit. I can remove it from my profile grid, okay? I can download. Now, I'm gonna come here and I wanna show you. I came here to my profile and though I have these here, I also have reels and I want you to see the effectiveness of reels. So here I have one with 2,100 watches. So when I just posted, 
203. 45 was the one I did this morning with you. 31, another one that I did this morning with you. 137 to that Fort Lauderdale one. 189 for this other. 1,036 for my ice maker. What's exciting about this? I'm going to click on it just to show you. Now, this is something that I found cool because is it hot out there? And to me, I thought, oh, my God, I can make a free drink with lots of ice. I love it. Okay, but I want you to know I only have five little comments. And it's funny. I had 53 likes. I had someone say Connie Influencer, right? Uh, cada día más artica. You know, those are my um, lovely followers. Yes, thanks for sharing. It's amazing. You know, and someone that wants to work. Okay, perfect. That's beautiful. And then I have, of course, my 53 likes. Amazing. So here's what I want you to see. I'm going to click on the three buttons here, the three little dots. And I want you to look at the insight. The amazing things about Reels is that they're free. They're a way for Instagram and Meta to compete with TikTok. And though I have many followers, I have 554 followers that have this reached, but this has reached 449 non-followers. Isn't this my goal? Isn't this my goal? I want my followers to see me, but I also want non-followers. Two people have what? Saved it. Two people have shared. Five people have written to me. 53 likes. And it's been seen 1,036 times. Is this the goal or no? What do you guys think? Yeah, absolutely. So what I want you guys here to know is that sometimes these cutesy things that pay attention or you see something in your area that you want to share, I would most definitely recreate the reel. Okay. Now I'm going to come back out from here and I'm going to tell you that social media works socially. So you have to be working socially for it to work for you. Yes or no. So we're going to come back out. I'm going to come back to a little house down here. Okay. And I'm back on the main page. It's taking a minute. There's a little bit of lag time. There we go. And then I'm going to click on the little real item. And I invite you to start searching. So number one, you could get ideas. Okay, and you can start looking. Okay. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to stop sharing a second. And I'm going to reshare again. Because for some reason, you're not getting. I want to be able to, to share. Hold on. Thanks again for your patience as we get this going on. I just don't want you to be that far along because then you miss the steps and I can't feature the steps that I want you to see. Here we go. Okay. So here we have it. I know that the music can be a bit, but here you have some audio. So I want you to see here. You see how it says original audio, but it is up in trend. Do you see it here? That means that more than 10,000 people have viewed and liked it. So you can actually come into here and click on just the music. 
And if you're permitted to, you can do what? Use the audio. So I could come into here and click to use the audio, right? And I could flip the camera and I can start my reel using that audio. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna come into here a second. We're at our HQ location. And I'm going to step away. I hope you can still hear me. And I'm going to come into here and go. When you come to see us at our headquarter location, this is the first one you, you get out of the elevator. Our wonderful facilities are new. So welcome you. And that's my first part. And then maybe to that, right? I want to come in and here I am coming to my desk or where I'm sitting right now. And I wanna come in and add, you know, the computer lab. And maybe I wanna add that we're creating the new global headquarters, right? And I wanna come in and click on next. So I'm going to click on music here on the top and I'm going to come on controls. And for some reason, this always happens when we're showing, but I do get to see that the music is here. Correct. I'm going to have my camera audio, right? And I can even do a little voiceover if I want. Maybe of this ending here. So I clicked on voiceover. Somebody had asked for voiceover. So I want to make sure that you're seeing that. Yeah, someone had asked. So I want you to see that I selected the voiceover and I'm going to come towards the end here and I'm going to click. These are the places where we see you, the computer lab. And for, don't forget, we're doing a new facility, the new global headquarters coming soon. And now I'm done, right? And I click on now. Bye. And it, it acts a little odd there because I'm connecting with um, you via Zoom in here. But um, I'm going to edit the cover here. And I'm going to choose it there. And I'm going to click on done. And a welcome message. So you could actually be at a listing or be at an open house. And create a video like this saying, I'm so sorry I missed you, but I wanted you to see where we were going to be at today. You write down your message here, right? And you could tag and do all the other things I told you. I'm going to add my location. And I'm going to go ahead and share this. Well, that's another way that can do it. Okay. Now, while that one's posting, right, I'm going to come. I wanted you to see that it did have the music. All right, so I couldn't step too far because I'm teaching you and I don't want to lose the connection with Zoom. But I want to show you something else. Um, I could click here on the very top, okay? And I could click real. And I want to show you this little guy. Do you see the template? It was my lunch, my water. You see the template? If I click on templates, I can choose from these different templates that are available. And they don't exactly tell you how many images there are, but you can use a template and the music is there. Do I show that again or did you get it? So here's another one. I love the music, right?
So depending on what you like, you would still like. You like it? So I'm going to click on use template. And now I can come and start replacing. So I'm going to use this one white that I thought was funky and this. And this and this and this and this. And I love the this and this. And then, um, let's see, I have nine seconds there. Let's do this one. So now I click next and it starts to generate my reel with a template. Did you like that? Are you mesmerized or you're ready to go or you don't like this or I'm not, there's not a lot of chat movement. Now, by the way, I can easily click on one, right? And replace the media. And let's say, add this. And then I can come to the next one and say, I want to replace the media and maybe add this. And I can come into this one and replace it and maybe add this one. So I show you again, I'm going to stop, start over, okay? I'm going to exit all the way out and because this is the key element. If I start it and I click here, I'm not going to find it. I need to click to my profile. You see the little profile here? Okay. And then from the profile, you see the plus sign? Here's the plus sign. Here are the reels. And then here's the templates. that one is awesome because it tells you exactly what it is seven clips 1.35 seconds each that's the one i had big Right. It's the reason to use the templates and the video is I want audio that's trendy and I don't want to have to like resize it or remix it. I want to have all of it already done. So I come into here, use the template and it's already done it. So it moves quick. Does that make sense? I think so. It already has a timing done. I don't have to figure out the timing and be editing it in and out. So the template allows me just to do what? Add media and then start to select. Does that make sense? I think so. Rather than you having to go create the reel, having to one by one decide. I have all these images that I could add down here. It's already timed for me and it goes along with the music. 
Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, to me, it makes it easier. Right. And they also have a selection of music already there for you. So Connie. I can come in and do the following. Let's do here. I can do um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. And then do me here and then come up and do Miami and here and the new building, the lab. Right. And then we're done and I click next. And it generates to, for you, it puts it in order and it creates it with the audio. But Connie, the amount of images that you can add on a reel is on Let me the click on next so I can hear you. Go ahead. The amount of images that you can put on a reel when, when using a template are given by the actual template. Yes, it's the template that assigns it. And what happens is like, I, I'm not going to post this one because I'm reusing the images to teach you guys, but I want you to see that that's already set up. Wow. To answer Michelle's question even further, I'm going to go here and start over, right? And then start over. I'm going to completely come out of the template. When I start a reel from scratch, whether it's here or here, either or, correct? Right? I have to select that I'm going to do a reel. I have to continue. I have to decide what images I'm going to do, right? I have to add in audio and see what audio I'm going to, to seek or like, right? I have to come in and do what? Start adding my photos. And then when I start to add them in, I have to decide what's the time frame. Let me give it a second because there was a little lag time there. So I have to images, right? I have to click add on the bottom. And then I have to come into here, take a picture. And then I have to deal with this. So I have to reduce it and then click add and then click again. Now, the idea with a template is that the template already goes to the rhythm of the music. So the switching of the images goes based on the music. Does that make sense? It makes it a little easier on me. It depends on you, what you want to use. The template is designed to help you save time and to have trendy music already there. Okay. Now, with all of that said, I'm going to come back out. Right. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, doing a reel. Close here. X out. Uh, start over. Right. And um, I'm going to start here and actually click on the start button and then say, what could I do that's different? Well, I wanted to show you that you could actually take a video. So I'm gonna open up my camera, right? And let's say that this is my listing. Okay. That's one. And then I came in and I like that entrance. So I took a picture and I like, Oh, I really love this here. So I like that. And I just like, you know, this, that's a mood. I include it. Okay. How many of you go places and you take videos and you take photos? And then when you go to post it, you're like, what am I going to do with this? Well, number one, you can't take pictures like this in landscape. Right? Because Instagram photos and images are like this, right? Number two, you can come in and do your reel and you're in the system, right? Here you have, you can look at other reels. Right? And one of the issues that we have is that audio. So what audio to use? Well, depending on who you are and what you like, right? You can use the audio or not. I want to make sure that it will show it to you. And it doesn't want to. Okay. I 
I'm almost going to open my Amazon is going to be one item that you're going to want to add to your list. I don't want that audio, right? Any event that you have. I like that song. You guys like that one? Okay. So this one also has template. So if you look at the reel, you can come in line and now you can click to use it as a template. So there's different ways to get what you like. So you like the music and you like the way this was set up, add your media. And there's where you start. They've really started to make it easier. So this one has a clip limit of 10. So you've used the 10. And this helps you generate your presentation. So in other words, you can create your own without audio. Why use audio? Audio is audience reference. And every time that you use an audio that's trending, it creates an audio page. I don't know if you saw that. And then here you click next and you start to create. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to start over and I'm going to come out from here. Oh, you see the music down here? If I click here, it'll tell you how many reels have used it, how many times, right? If you want to use the audio, and then it creates all the videos that have used the, the audio. So someone can come and see you just because you use that trending audio. Does that make sense? By the way, you can come up here and you can save it, though this isn't always working the best way. You can save it up top. On a smartphone, you can't get the template. I'm working off of my phone. So you came to your profile, Hector, and you clicked the plus on the very top. For you to get templates, you have to click on your profile and click on the plus on the top. And you didn't have templates show up when you selected reels on the very bottom. You didn't have templates here. Did everyone else find the templates? Okay, but then I showed you something else. Um, the way this is working now, since it generates so much interest, when you click here to watch reels, just like this one, you see how this one said use template? It allows you to use the music and the template. And the reason you wanna use trending audio, you see how this is trending audio here? I want you to see it. You see the upward facing arrow? The reason you want to use that is because other people are using it and it may bring you to the trending page, the video audio page. I'm going to look for another one. Like this is a reel and it doesn't have a template and the music is great. So I could click on the music and use the audio. Okay. Now I'll go next. This one is also not a template. But look at how cute that idea of setting up a space like that. Or That's what I need someone to do in my house. <laughs> so that's something else that you need to select how long the audio is. So here's Tina Turner, right? If I click on the audio down here, it's going to automatically tell me that this is long, long audio. Therefore, I could put my whole video based on that, Oksana. So there's a lot of different things to consider. And there are more than 430K reels with this. So I'll tell you what I would think of doing with this. I would say this, right? Okay. Let me continue. Here's the Amazon finds.
me stop it a second. And let me see if I can make the audio work. I'm going to have to stop the connection again. I had a couple of them that were long girls and you have to be patient and look and that's why the templates are such a great route to go. Because when you do find a template that you can use, it usually has a lengthier time or you know how much it is and then it'll have the appropriate time for the um, um, pictures and images, okay? It's a give and take. It's not letting me use the audio with you guys. I don't know why. I wanted to come in here and... See if I can find another one that would say template. Okay, so this is very trendy to see things before and after. What do you think? So this is something that you could remix and that music is there. So I could click on this one, right? And it lets me use the audio. Now, that's not very long at all. You're going to get any more than words out there from here. I am blessed. This one had a template. There so you have the template and it's, it's, I find it long. That was more than 30 some seconds, no? Yeah, that is short. The audio here, this one's 45 seconds. Would this help you all time? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little share here. And if you follow me, you'll be able to see it. I'll put it here on my story. Because that way you can go if you like the audio and it's long enough, you can use it. I'll add it to my story. And that way you can get time to it. Okay. Of course, the whole idea is that. Now, I'm going to come into use templates and you notice that it only has a couple of items in. So I'm going to come to add media and I'm going to actually come and scroll all the way down. And I went... Um, you can tell I like to cook, right? Those are my burgers. Train I got. Memorial team classes. So look, I'm gonna add these. Those are storms that were happening. Look. I love this time here in South Florida. That's all in like a 30 minute span. Do you guys remember Miracle Center? Has everybody been there close to Miracle Mile? Um, those pictures are taken from the rooftop of Miracle Center in the parking lot. I always give picture spot suggestions if you want. Righty, so I'm gonna come in and write my my cup my post here, um, in South Florida.
and put okay, okay and share it okay so, wonderful i think from here and we're going to keep on listening right so you may like this one click on it right and you can use the audio and then you can start to create your own and one of the things that you could do is that you could turn this over and one of the things that i suggest is um some of the most effective things that you can do on social media are really you showcasing something to the customer so you can write a script for yourself and um let's say that you were working uh, did you guys know that to prospect an area you should really know um the turnover rate in the area did you know that so here i am and i'm gonna say um when selecting your prospects in the farming area you should really make sure to know that the area Turnover rate should be at least be seven percent or more, and then you look at it and you go, "Ugh, at it, you know, select it, delete." I didn't like what I saw, it. and you discard it. You can discard it, and then you can say, "Wait, but I really like that audio, so I want to keep on using it." So I'm gonna come in again, okay, and I'm gonna say, "Okay." When deciding what area to focus and work in, you should really find out what the turnover rate is. And at Miami Realtors, uh, through the budget rate, you can most definitely get a turnover rate in your farm area and see what subdivisions are best to allocate your time to uh, join us for a class. Okay. And then I went and I used the whole clip time with my music, right? And what I'm going to do here is let me, I want to add an enhancer, let's say. I want to pixelate my photo. That's exactly what I want to do right now. Or I want to add a disco glow. Or I want to add a, a Morpheus effect. Or bubblegum. Or a Renaissance. Or Kodak Multi. Like, would you really want to see me that many times? So I'm going to leave that effect on. Okay. And then I need to discuss the audio and the voiceover because I need the original to come down and see if my camera. Oh, let's see if it took it. I don't think it's in. So what do I have to do? All over again. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to select it and delete and discard. So sometimes you want to do a combination and you want to do a message and you and you can. Um, let me see here. Let's let's do something intuitive. So I'm going to look into here. And I'm going to point and then show you guys. Okay, so I did that, right? And I'm going to go next, right? And I want to go ahead and come into here and say that aesthetically, I just want more he is. Tyson is coming in. He's joining our class and he's telling us that he had a MLS commercial. They have MLS commercial and he recorded it and he's going to have it readily available. Any of you that are interested. Um, that's so when you think that you're teaching on your own, you never are. So I'm going to select this here and you see how I point it out. So I'm going to go ahead and on the top here, I'm going to add a message. So uh, I'm going to put a suggestions. Realtors. Uh, should research uh, their farm area, right? So I'm going to put a primary message here, okay, done. Now, do I want this to show the entire time? Uh, probably not. I want to probably come and edit the clip here. And let me make sure. I'm so sorry. Let me connect again to make sure you're watching what I'm showing.
So I'm back to here, right? And you see how I wrote on it? Realtors should uh, research their farm area, correct? So you may be giving a pointer like a new home buyer. So I'm going to put this up. But I only wanted to show while I'm doing while I'm doing this. That's all the time that I wanted. Does that make sense? Done. And now I want to add a second one and I'm going to come and type in. Uh, search for areas with seven percent or more turnover rate. Did you guys know that? Okay. So I picked an audio. I appeared. I haven't said a single thing. And what I'm doing is I pointed one and now I'm doing number two and I'm giving them information. So what are the steps to buying a home? So you could do a video like that where you go number one, you know, saving for a down payment. Number two, qualifying, getting yourself qualified, right? And right, but what I'm teaching you here are the steps that you put in the words, correct? But I don't want this to show the entire time. I want this to show when I say number two, they are correct. And then I move it to just show as I show number two. And then my third piece of advice, do you like it? So now my third piece of advice would be join us for a Rebo Gateway class. Let's prospect and farm together, correct? And I don't want that to show the entire time. So I come down here and I select the words. And I just make sure that that shows when I do number three. Right? So now I have three messages, but I only let it show during the amount of time I want. Right? Now watch. Done. Number one, research. Number two. Number three. Now that was really quick. So, what am I going to do here? I'm going to come in and I'm going to give it a little more time. I'm going to do the second one and I'm going to let it sneak in and maybe show almost to my number three. And then my third one shows an awful lot. Okay. And now I click on next and I edit, you know, I can edit my cover. And I'm going to choose to leave the very end. Why do I tell you to appear? Um, how many of you are afraid of the camera? No one is afraid of the camera. All right, I am a lady who turns 49 this year. I don't like the camera. But there is something about them seeing you that's more effective than an image, like a photo of something else. So once in a while, you need to come up in front of the camera. And you're very capable. If you have a message to relay and you know and you believe in what you're saying, are you going to relay the message? So tell me something that you you feel very strongly about. Because I'm going to come into here and I'm going to go ahead and put done. Okay. I'm going to choose 
there, like not so crazy eyes. And then uh, and I'll put here the Miami Association of Realtors and I'll share it. And we're, we're literally almost done with the class. And we're gonna review. Um, it it got stuck here. So let me see if it'll take you guys to my page and we'll see if I've had any luck with the reels I've done with you guys. I've had 41 views, 16 views, 61 views from this morning, uh, 34 from another one. So it looks okay. So while we're doing that, I'm going to ask you, how many of you feel strongly, let's say, about uh, working with someone who wants to buy a home or sell a home? And what are some key things that maybe you want to share? Some key things. Anybody? Maybe a pointer, something that you would like. And do you want to work internationally or locally or globally? or a mile from your home, or what? what's your, who's your audience? Okay, so for the global and international customer, you may want to feature some of the great things on what investment opportunities have afforded these international buyers. Um, who's searching and researching. Um, you see investors, local multifamily, stop paying rent. A uh, yes. So I want you to write down what your message is and then you can feature it, whether it's you or whether it's in a format like I did. I took my lunch break and I went and I took those 12 pictures or whatever of our headquarter. You could take 12 pictures of an area Go uh, take video of the beach, a go and feature Weston or Pinecrest or Pembroke Pines or wherever it is that you're at, and then do a voiceover and say, do you know the turnover in this area is this? Do you know that investment is this? Do you know that if you purchase, if you want to work internationally and you want to rent, uh, rentals are at an all-time high. It's a great opportunity to get a great return on your investment. For those of you that want to be home buyers, do you know that there is these programs available? Why are you renting when it's almost easier right now to purchase than it is to rent? Uh, why aren't you considering these opportunities? Uh, purchase a condo, purchase a townhouse, purchase, etc. So, but give the steps because remember that the person, whether it, they're considering a global investment, whether they're considering a local first-time homeowner, whether they're going to go rent, they're taking the first and hugest financial step that they've taken. So they need to feel that you're providing them info. So in an essence, that's what I did here in this video that I created with you. Right now, I shared something. Um, you really should research your area. You should go ahead and know about the turnover rate. And you should really prospect. And I didn't have to say anything. I wrote it down and I told you that there were three elements to lo knowing if you should work in area. Um, in this video, what I tried to show you is that we did was take pictures that I had taken of our South Florida sky and do what? Feature our area. Even when it looks like it's going to rain and the sky is going to come down, it's beautiful here. And then in this one, I was trying to feature my property, which is our office right here. So these are the distinct and unique places that uh, I can afford you and show you of the property. Look at how great it is. You have a great place to walk into. You have a great area to see. Um, these are the people and members that we serve. This is what we do here at this location. So you could do this at your office and feature how you provide great customer service. And then coming to you live today uh, via Zoom from our headquarter, right? I just so you can make this be about who you want to work with and who you want to work for. Now, I'm going to stop my share from here and I'm going to come over uh, to my desktop and I'm going to open up 
um, here and I'm going to sign in and I'm going to give you a glimpse of our third class and how many of you have taken RPR? Realtor property resource. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay. And I'm going to ask the first person to send me a zip code. That's the zip code that I will do. And I want to show you those tapestries that I left you with. So I'll do 33177 and 33156 for both of you. And um, the third class, if you come to the calendar, it is on June 26th. I will be doing social media part three. This is the third class. I'll paste it into here. And then that's the third one. And the fourth class is that afternoon. And I will put it into here. So you can register for both. And now I'm going to come back here. This is our PR. If you've never taken it, I don't want to, to fiddle and diddle. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to give a two minute break, a, a three minute break. I'll be right back. Okay. Wait for me. I'll be right back. All righty. I'm back. So we're in our PR and I want to talk to you about the tapestry segmentations that you guys had mentioned. Um, that I had mentioned to you guys. And to run those, you switch from RPR residential to commercial. Um, if you've never taken an RPR class, I highly suggest you do. And here, we're going to put in a zip code and we're going to search it. Now, I switched to commercial and I came over here and this is the zip code 33177. And what I'm going to do is on the very top, click to create a report and then a trade area report and run it. Now I'm gonna give you a glimpse of this because to me, this is like super duper great info that you could use to help you see what it is you're gonna post. And I'm gonna repeat what I had said this morning about the week and what to post. So I'm gonna come back to home and I promise that I would also do five, six, so three, three, one, five, six, click on it, okay. Now, again, it's RPR commercial. My first report is ready to go. I click on create a report and I do the trade area report and I click run. And now I come to the very top and I have, while well, this one's creating, I'm going to look at the first one for 33177. And this is the area it shows me here. So it is uh, close to the zoo. It, well, it's at the zoo, Richmond West. It's down right from the turnpike. Um, this is an area that it's in growth and I'm gonna scroll down and it's telling me here, and I believe it was Yoneli that you wanted this area, that there are a medium household income in this area is uh, 70,419. The median age is 36.8, which is young. The key demographic total population is 57,000. The first dominant segment is urban villages. Um, this is Sprouting Explorer area. And you have urban villages. Makes up 34% uh, of the household here. They have average household size 3.59. Median age is 34.6. Diversity index, median household income. Their net worth. Their employment areas or education preferred activities, financials, media, and vehicle. Uh, you have another group here called Urban Edge. You have up and coming families, workday drives, and Southwestern families. And when we scroll down, the trade area reports explains who they are. Urban villagers residents, residents are multi-generational and multi-language, multilingual, trendy and fascist conscious. They are risk takers. However, these consumers focus on their children and maintain gardens. They are well connected with their smartphones, but more likely to shop in person. Their favorite stores are Costco, Trader Joe's, Target, or Macy's. You have neighborhood reports, older homes, average home size, right? Socioeconomic traits include recent immigrants and some language barriers. Education, more than half of the population age 25 have a high school diploma or some college. 
Um, and then you have fashion matters to the urban village resident who spend liberally on new clothes for the whole family. Saving is more limited than spending in this young market. They carry credit card debt, but banking is basic. They are likely to pay bills in person or online. Medium preferences vary. Leisure includes going to water parks, theme parks, watching movies, gardening, plus sports like soccer or basketball. Um, then you have the urban edge families in this group. Located throughout the southwest, the south and west, most urban age family residents own their homes, primary single family homes out of the city where housing is more affordable. You see their market profile. So they watch channels like Animal Planet, MTV, ABC, uh, Family Channel, Bravo, Nick, and more. Um, socioeconomic traits, nearly 17% have earned a college degree, 63% hold high school diploma, and you have info here. How insightful is that? So you can continue. There's 23 pages explaining 331, right? Um, seven, seven. And if I scroll down, uh, they even tell you married, widowed, divorced people in the area, economic comparisons. And um, this is used in um, commercial because it even has info on traffic counts in the area and how many, you know, what traffic is like. Okay, so it's a great way to get detail in an area. And then the next report that we have is the one that I was going to do for 5-6. And here you go. I believe it was for Michelle. And this is giving you insight because when we come back for part three, you have to focus a bit on what your potential customer is. So the median household income in this area is 119,500. The median age is 43.9. The total population is 34,179, and the top segment is top tier. These are affluent estates. Um, you have top tier Emerald City, Trendsetters, Metro Fusion, and Pleasantville. Married couples, single, 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 married couples. Average household sizes are two or almost three. Median ages vary a bit, right? Um, net worth over a million five. Median home value, 836K, home ownership, employment, education, and more. So you have all of this info, right? And you can come in. Here's the top tier, who we are, the residents of the wealthiest tapestry market, top tier, earn more than three times the U.S. household income. Our neighborhood, married couples without children or married couples with older children. <laughs> Socioeconomic traits. Um. These busy consumers seek variety in life. They take an interest in fine arts, read to expand their knowledge, and consider the internet, radio, and newspapers as key media sources. They regularly cook their meals at home, attentive to good nutrition and fresh organic foods. Um, they actively invest in their future. They hold 401k and IRA retirement plans, plus securities consumers spend on credit, but have a disposable income to avoid balance on their credit cards. So isn't this cool? Do you like this information now? Why the focus on this? You're going to want to use information like this to make sure that when you're marketing and you're using your social media, you are making sure that you are attracting the audience that you would like. So if 33177 and 33156 are the areas that you're farming and prospecting in, you want to make sure that you understand the community makeup there so that you market appropriately. Where I got this, I came into the Miami Gateway. I came into RPR. RPR is Realtor Property Resource, is a subsidiary of NAR, and it is um, information and data that's collected from census to school reporting to um, data and sales and purchases made through realtors and more. So this is one of the resources and how we got to here. We actually switched from the residential to commercial, and I did it based off of a zip code. So we will do this again in part three. Um, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to remind you that I said that Mondays, because some of you had asked, uh, was for news, uh, Tuesday, international, Wednesday, decor or property value, um, Thursday. What to do on the weekend. And then you would use a report like this one 
to know, okay, if I'm farming in 33177, I might want to feature, you know, some things to do free with kids, uh, what to do outside. I should be already posting about summer camps and items like that. Um, uh, what days museums are open for free. And then if I'm posting for five, six, I might want to put, you know, uh, what's the trend, what's happening, what art exposition we're going to be having, um, things like that. So depending on the area and who I'm marketing to is what this week of stuff would be for. Uh, Friday, um, feature listings. And you don't have to post every day, but this gives you an idea. You can rest. So to me, uh, super important and significant that you um, know what you can post and create. And then, of course, who you're posting for and who you're trying to attract. I hope you really liked uh, what I had to offer. Um, I hope you liked the reels. I hope you guys will delve in. Um, we offer an OK to advertise class. It is uh, two hours long. Uh, you can find under the rules and regulations information on OK to advertise. And um, actually, I advise you to take it because we offer you different ways for you to be able to post that's actually sharing where you can have access to um, the images. Yeah, the written rules are in the rules and regulations. Okay, And you can find that on the MLS page, MiamiRealtors.com forward slash MLS. And then we teach you how to use products and services that are actually allow you because okay to advertise is only really for text, but we actually teach you to use um, products and services that also allow you to share images. The link to the MLS page. Here is the MLS page. You can also take... Um, you okay to advertise and a four and a five hundred one. Uh huh. Because I I send the messages to some agents that they have okay to advertise or attribution uh, required or not required. Yes, and they didn't answer. And then I send again. Not, the when it says okay to advertise, yes, attribution required or not required, you don't have to request anything from the agent. That's why I invite you to take an okay to advertise class. No, I took the class, but in my office, they told me that we need to ask. But the question is, they didn't even know what is okay to advertise. <laughs> That's why I'm asking about the rules, if there are any kind of written rules for me, because I was calling the agents at the end because they didn't ask, answer the, the email. And they, right, they let told me, me. Let me go ahead and finish the class here because that's separate. Okay. Um, as a realtor, I know you had an issue with a photo that she, oh, all right. So, um, I'm going to answer that a little bit offline. I want to let you know that the third part, we will be looking forward to it. We will also be doing three and four and three. We'll be talking a little bit about fundamentals. We will be talking about, um, Facebook. Um, and we'll be talking about you creating your Facebook page and the relevance of Facebook. One of the reasons that Facebook is relevant is that boomers are the primary holders of property at this moment in the United States. And uh, boomers still use Facebook. And they are the ones with, oh, since they're the ones holding the most property, they're the ones that would have to uh, uh, list the information. Does that make sense? And we will talk about Facebook and posting here, how you can share. Um, and any additional items we'll discuss in a little bit. I want to thank you for being Miami members. Thank you for joining us. Um, and thank you for being here with us. I do want to come in here to the MLS. And I'm going to go ahead and find OK to advertise. And here is some information that you can maybe see and I will share that here. And if you have any additional questions, you can go ahead and call the MLS department. Um, go ahead and paste this in. That is, um, see if I can share this one. Okay. 
it's the okay to advertise flyer and then next to that you guys wanted an agent 3000 recording so i'll come to our wonderful youtube channel we will let you know that we have uh 10 000 subscribers to our youtube and if you want to join those subscribers we would really love to have you join good afternoon uh, you can come in and simply click to subscribe uh, let me see here Three thousand. Oh, um, I believe this is the one in English. Yeah, this is including the AI. So I'll share this one here. This is Agent Three Thousand, which is what you had asked me for. Okay. And I thank you so much for being Miami members. It's been a pleasure to be with you this afternoon. I'm super happy that you joined me. I can't wait for you to join me uh, in part three. And you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks to all. Take care.